Tristan Coat is a force to be reckoned with. Coming off a hot 2013-2014 season with the UFC Dino Swim Team, Tristan took home gold at the CIS Championship. This year, his hopes are set even higher. I started doing distance really young. I mean, I think I was nine years old when I first did my first 1500 and then 400 IM, so it's always been something that I've done. Whoever's on ropes, let's go, and you got activation, get off. First of all, he came to us pretty um, well ranked in the, in the country. He comes from a program that has, swims a lot of volume, so I know he's fairly aerobically strong. Um, he can train really well, and he hasn't been in a very strong racer in the last, uh, probably I'd say the last six months. He's really improved in his racing skill. Um, so he, once he gets that power into his racing, instead of just aerobic engine, he's going to really be good. Um, he never complains, and uh, he swims more. He does more work than he can do more work than anyone in here. Growing up in Arizona, it was swimming is like a it's a big sport. My dad swam. My mom was a lifeguard. My sister swam. Um, so looking at all those guys, when I was little, I used to look up to those guys. They used to be like my heroes. So. Um, I just always wanted to be like them, and then when I came to Canada, um, just swimming with the local team and swimming with the, the guys that were bigger than I was, and I, that was always the goal, just to keep up with them. Yeah, I see Tristan as a really strong leader in the group. He's a bit young still. Uh, he's second year. I think I see him being uh, having a bigger role this year, leading. Um, uh, in terms of work ethic, he's always a great leader, but in terms of leading outside the pool, he's starting to be more active. He certainly is way more active in recruiting this year than he was last year. There's always a part in swimming that is weaker than other parts. I mean, we always work on turns, underwaters, things like that. Um, I could definitely strengthen those. I've never really been focused on them because with distance races, you have so much time to catch up. And yeah, it's just working day in, day out. Tristan trains uh, nine times a week. So we go in the water, and then we have three dry line sessions a week. He swims during school. He swims on average of 50 to 60,000 meters a week. That's 50 to 60K. And uh, if we go to training camp, that'll go from 60 to 70K. And the uh, strength program is way different than anything I've ever seen, but I can see really positive results so far from the guys and uh, from most of the girls' team. Uh, they're able to swim on it, uh, which is really hard. When you're lifting heavy, it's hard to feel the water. And so uh, I think they're doing very good on it. And I think he's managing the strength program. Um, it takes about an hour and a half each session. So I would say he's committing, you know, swimming and weights. There's uh, well over 20 hours a week in the training. To top off a great season, Tristan was also named CIS Rookie of the Year. It was, it was awesome. It was, it was a shock. Um, I went into the meet just trying to do the best for my team. Um, CIS is a big team meet. So you just try and go in and get a second swim, and then once you get a second swim, you try and medal, try and come first. Um, so I wasn't really focused in on getting rookie of the year or rookie of the meet. I was more focused on just doing good in my events, try and win a medal, try and win gold. Um, so it was definitely a shock, but it was, it was awesome. Now there's like a, I guess a target on my back. So uh, you try and go into every workout knowing that there's someone trying to catch up to you, and you, you try and beat them. I mean, you have a, I guess, title under your name now, so you have to try and hold it next CIs and then the CIs after that, and it's just constant work. Never one to shy away from a challenge, Tristan has set some pretty big goals for the future. As a team, I'd like to win CIs. That'd be awesome. And then next year, they have the Olympic trials um, and the Olympics, so that'd be really awesome if I can make that. And then. Um, trials for Worlds and Pan Packs down the road. He's made the junior national teams uh, twice. Certainly I would like him to make a senior team. This year is a World Student Games uh, selection and um, World uh, Championships. The World Championship selection times are pretty hard. Can he get there this year? I'm not sure. Uh, but the goal certainly would be in a year from now to get on that Olympic team. You know, and so uh, what's it going to take? It's going to take, uh, first of all, a really sharp focus, some commitment. Um, he's going to have to do some sacrifice maybe academically next year as we go into the um, uh, Olympic trials. Uh, he's going to have to swim pretty fast this summer. Like really he needs to be pretty close to that Olympic standard which is 12th in the world. So it's commitment, it's hard work and he's weak. He needs to get stronger.
You're not gonna wake up one day and be good at swimming. You're not gonna wake up one day and be able to go 10 or 15 meters off the wall underwater. Um, it's definitely constant work day in, day out. Um, it takes dedication, like I said, you swim 20 to 25 hours a week. It's not easy. Um, sometimes you wanna just give up, but I mean, you have to have the motivation and de determination to, to keep going.